Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch FIFA 23 game on your Windows computer and if you're receiving this error, that is EA anti-cheat failure during update process or if you're receiving this error, EA anti-cheat service encountered an error, please restart the game. So if you receive one of these error message, I was receiving both the error message. So you can close the EA anti-cheat error. So click on close, close it. And what has worked for me is relaunching the game. So relaunch the game. So if you receive this error message, click on close and then launch the game once again. You can try two, three times and maybe it will work. Still, you are receiving the error message, then restart your PC and launch the game. So just restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Still, you are receiving the error message, then run origin or EA as an administrator. So you might be using origin or EA. So try running EA or origin as an administrator. So in my case, I'm using origin. So you can first of all close origin and then box and then make a right click on origin app and then click on run as administrator and then launch the game. You can also go to open file location and then make a right click on origin and then go to properties go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply ok and then launch the origin and then launch the game now if you're using ea app then simply you can type in ea or you can go to all apps and then open expand this ea and over here you can see ea app make a right click and then click on more and then click on run as administrator or you can simply go to open file location and then make a right click on EA app and then go to properties compatibility put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply ok now launch EA app and then launch FIFA 23 now still you are receiving the error message in that case if using EA app then use origin so if you are using EA app to launch the game if you are using EA app in that case use origin so first of all close EA app. So if EA app is open, first of all, close it. You can end it from the task manager also. Go to task manager and if you find EA app in the list, select it and then end task. Close EA app and then open origin. So if origin is installed, try to open origin. If not, then you can go to origin website, download for Windows and then launch origin as an administrator and then click on play and then check. Now, if you are receiving this error message on origin, in that case, you can use EA app. So if you are using origin, then you can use EA app. Now, to use EA app, if EA app is installed, you can open EA app or you can simply go to this website. All the links are provided in the video description. Click on download the EA app, download it, login and then launch FIFA 23. Now, the next step is to repair the game file. Now, for this, go to origin. If using origin, go to origin, go to library and then click on FIFA 23, click on this settings icon and then click on repair. After the repair, launch the game. Do the same thing on EA app. Open EA app and then you will see three dots on FIFA 23 icon. Click on that three dots and you will see the repair option in EA app. And then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall origin. Now this has worked for many users. So first of all, close origin and then and then click on uninstall a program now find EA, uh, origin over here make a right click and then click on uninstall now after the uninstall is complete restart your computer now after the system restart reinstall origin again go to origin website and download origin reinstall it and then launch fifa 23 still you are facing the problem then uninstall origin once again and then use EA app. So you can go to EA website and then use the EA app or you can uninstall EA app one, once again. You can go ahead and uninstall EA app and then reinstall EA app and then launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to launch the game successfully. Now the next step is to run FIFA 23 as an administrator. Now for this go to the game installation folder. So if you have installed the game in C drive, open C drive. Now if you have installed the game from 
origin then go to program files x86 find origin games over here you will find your fifa 23 now if you have installed the game from ea app then go to program files and then find ea electronic arts folder or ea games folder or you will find ea games ea games folder and over here you might find your fifa 23 folder in my case the game is installed in e drive so open fifa 23 folder now make a right click on fifa23.exe and then click on run as administrator and then launch the game now or you can simply launch it from origin or ea so you can make a right click then go to properties and then go to compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok and then you can launch the game from origin or ea app now next step is to close origin or ea app so if origin or ea app is open first of all close origin or ea app make sure that you close it then uninstall ea anti-cheat for fifa 23 now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open program files now open ea folder now open ac folder now over here you can see ea anti cheat installer.exe make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now over here click on this drop down option and then select installed fifa 23 now click on uninstall once done now again click on install and install success over here now launch the game from the game installation folder now launch the game from the game installation folder without opening origin or ea app so i'll go to the game folder open fifa 23 and then you can make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes Now still you are receiving the error message in that case allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then go to the start menu then click on settings now if you have windows 10 click on update and security if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security for i have windows 10 so i will click on update and security if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection now scroll down click on manage ransomware protection now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now go to add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder once again open the fifa 23 folder select the game exe file and then click on open again click on browse all apps again select the exe file if you have trial exe open again click on browse all apps if you see e anti cheat game service dot launcher open now again go to browse and this time go to this pc c drive now program files open the let me check ea ac select this click on open now again go to browse go back open this electronic arts folder ea desktop and then find ea launcher.exe or ea desktop.exe select it open again browse all apps and then this time select ea launcher.exe this time ea launcher launcher helper.exe open now if you are using origin go to browse all apps and this time go to c drive open program files x86 open the origin folder if you find it and then select this origin.exe and then click on open now once all the exes are added now launch the game So over here you can see I did not receive the error message the game is launching successfully but still you are receiving the error message in that case 
the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so uninstall the game and after you uninstall delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game if you have another drive you can try to install the game to different drive so uninstall and reinstall the game and check so one of the steps should help you to get rid of these errors so that'll be all thank you so much